You know how it is. You promise yourself you'll only spend 10 minutes browsing the internet before going to bed. Then you accidentally fall into some strange rabbit hole that leads you to the darkest realms of the web. Maybe you've just gotten yourself a Tor browser, and maybe you've just learned about Onions sites. Whatever the case, you stare at the time. You realize it's 3 a.m. You need to get to bed because work starts in the morning, but the damn dark web is just too fascinating. Well, at least that's a perfect description of my life. And by the looks of it, this is how I'm going to die. Before I go fading into the obscurity of history, let me tell you what happened. At the very least, my last day of life was a weekend. Work wasn't going to call in the morning, nor did I have a girlfriend to spend time with. Heck, I hardly had any friends at all, and my family had long since stopped caring. By all means, I was an outcast, and I didn't really mind if I'm perfectly honest. I'd been researching bizarre conspiracy theories. There were people claiming Area 51 was a decoy, that the real aliens were actually in charge of the world's leading governments. It was fun and harmless. At least that's what I thought before I found a website that had little more than a dark background with a title at the top. Don't look, was all it read. Obviously, my first instinct was to look. It wasn't that I expected anything malicious, but I certainly hoped for some kind of jump scare to wake up my drowsy mind. I'd always loved horror, meaning unexpected screams, pop-ups, or just generic loud noises. But there was no such thing to be seen or heard. All I had in front of me was a black screen. I then tried to inspect the page to check if there was a GIF or a video. To my surprise, there was nothing. The page was literally just a black screen with a title, at least based on the code and image properties. I was just about to close the browser and finally get some much needed sleep. But as I moved my cursor to end my weird internet session, I could have sworn I heard a whisper. Don't, a quiet voice said. My eyes fixated on the screen once more, and for the first time, I could finally see something beyond the darkness. In the center of my screen, just below the title, I saw what could only be the black silhouette of a human. He appeared to be standing in a long, dark hallway that got progressively more clear the longer I stared at it. But how had it spoken? I looked for any play button, wanting to progress the absurdity of my situation. I took my eyes off to check if the volume had somehow been switched off. Then as I looked back at the silhouette, I noticed that it had moved ever so slightly forward. Wait for me. The same weak voice called out. It sounded broken, inhuman, and unnatural. The walls of the hallways were starting to clear up in the darkness. They seemed oddly wet with black liquid trickling down the surface, forming a pool on the floor. The place looked like an abandoned insane asylum. As I studied the new details, I noticed the silhouette move even closer. I could feel its energy radiating from my computer. It felt ominous, almost as if it was the devil himself. I tried to glance away, but couldn't. All I could do was stare at this hideous creature. As I continued to look at my screen, he started to get closer and closer. Then he stopped and tilted his head. He slowly smiled revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. He opened his mouth and said one word. Stay. By then, I was starting to feel nervous. Something just felt wrong about the entire situation. I tried to close the browser, but despite how many times I clicked on the exit button, nothing would happen. I then tried to force quit the application, but the task manager wouldn't even open. I then tried to click the power off on my screen. Nothing happened. No matter what I tried, it wouldn't shut off. I was left with only one choice to force shut down the entire computer. I tried to turn around in my chair to reach the power button, but I couldn't move. For whatever reason, I could not take my eyes off the screen. I was frozen in place. All the while, the figure on the screen grew closer. He looked like something straight out of a nightmare. He opened his mouth again to speak. You are too late, it said. What the hell is happening? I asked as adrenaline started flushing through my veins. The picture was getting clearer showing how immensely long the long hallways reached. But that wasn't all, because despite how impossible it was, the hallway appeared not only as a picture, but as a real place extending deep into the void beyond my computer screen. Don't look, the title still read. I tried to close my eyes, but I couldn't keep them shut no matter how hard I tried. All I could do was to briefly blink, and once I did, the title finally changed. Why did you look, it read. Please stop, let me go, I pleaded and begged but I could not physically move out from my chair. The silhouette was moving ever closer. I could just start to make out its features. It was a man. He was the darkest shade of black I had ever seen, almost jet black. 
similar to the look of Slender Man. He was dressed in little more than tattered rags. His ribs protruded out from his chest and his arms hung limp by his side. They were unnaturally long and spindly. His legs were the same, moving akin to a marionette doll attached to invisible strings. He took a step towards the screen. That was the first time I'd actually seen him move while keeping my eyes on him, and it absolutely terrified me. What do you want from me? I screamed. His face was still shrouded in darkness, but the closer he got, the more I realized that he was no living being. Just let me go, I begged, but he didn't respond. He just walked closer and closer, each step freezing me more in place. I could just barely turn my head to the side, at which point I realized the walls of my room were beginning to change. The same black liquid I'd seen earlier started trickling down my walls. The liquid started to make a puddle in my room. The figure was standing right in front of me then. It reached out an arm, passing through my computer screen and touching me in my chest. This was impossible, I thought to myself. There's no way this can happen. His arm kept getting closer and closer. I tried everything in my power to move, but I was powerless, almost as if under some kind of hypnotic spell. His disgusting fingers moved up towards my neck. He grabbed my neck with his whole hand and gripped tightly. My breathing slowed. Right when I was about to lose consciousness, he released his hands. The instant his hands released, I felt an electric shock that flowed throughout my body. Agonizing pain took over my every thought. I knew then and there that my heart had stopped. My body started to get cold. I could feel the blood on the inside of my body stop flowing. I was dead, yet my mind refused to turn off. It wasn't until I'd begun to accept my fate before I realized my surroundings had changed entirely. I had moved through a hole in reality, landing in the realm of the dead. My heart still wasn't beating, nor could I breathe. I just existed in darkness. I looked around to find narrow walls of an infinitely long hallway. At my feet lay a puddle of the dark liquid that had trickled down my walls. I'd been trapped in the image forced upon my computer screen, taking the place of the horrid being within. To the rest of humanity, I am dead. But despite all of that, I still have some contact with the outside world. Every now and then, someone will open the same website, staring into the empty black screen. Unfortunately, they aren't as curious as I once was. They see the darkness and click away before it's too late. But I know that one day, someone's stare will linger for just enough time. I'll be able to latch on, and like the creature that lured me in, I'll be free once again. I just hope my body doesn't decay too much before I see the real world again. But I've kept your attention for this long, so maybe you should just keep staring. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and smash that like button to get notified every time I upload a new video.